So do you feel Andre 3000 gave us growth by playing the flute? Yes. I'm not, not, and I'm I, not saying I, 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 I like the flute album. I'm not saying I like the album. I'm not saying I like the mm. album, right? Mm. But let's not forget mm. this. Um, Lil Wayne played the guitar, right? Mm. Was, was he the best guitar player? No. No, I'm not going to say no. He was not Bon Jovi. No shit. Right? No. But, but he played the guitar. And when I saw that, as a young man, it inspired me. Because I didn't think that rappers could do that. You understand? When I seen Lil Wayne ride a skateboard, it inspired me because he wasn't fearful <clears throat> of his rap image being diminished. Right. You know, because he was riding a fucking skateboard. Right. right? And then he got pretty good at riding a fucking skateboard. So, you know, by Andre 3000 playing the flute, right? I believe that it's going to stretch the ear and the eye of hip hop and maybe the next dude will be nice like Kendrick Lamar, versatile like Drake, and can play the motherfucking flute too. That's what we're not understanding, bro. We we see the only reason we're looking at his flute shit as something we hate is because we love his lyricism so much. I've been in this um predicament where, you know, I got I, I got more melodic. I'm doing more melodic shit. Oh man. Bro, come on, man. And so they don't give my R&B music a chance because they just want to hear me go, you know, um, um, they want my alphabetic arsenal and arsenal arithmetic are actually attributes at an artistic apprenticeship, absolutely an animal, right? And guess what? Please stay there, please stay there, please ask your question. And three, and three, my R&B shit might pale in comparison to that, for sure. But you're not even giving me the chance to develop. Look, look, hold on, listen. If I'm in my infantile stages, if I'm in my embryonic mm -hmm. stages of m melody and R&B, you have to allow me the same way when I first started rapping, I wasn't that good at rap. You have to allow me to grow and develop. But if you pigeonhole me and, and say, and, and so now this shit got two views, but my other shit got two million. And so now you fuck, you not supporting me now. You not saying, all right, Los, I want to see you grow. You know, you know what people think? If you start singing, if you get good at singing, he's never going to rap again. And so that's that's where the fans project onto you the, the fact that they didn't grow. All right, so let me, let, I, I, let's go ahead. Now, I'm going to talk to you from the fans' perspective, okay? So let's say if Los decides to go to the booth, right, and do an R&B album, right? Three Stacks goes in the booth to does a food album, right? Westside Gunn decides to do trap music, right? Mind you, we're not used to hearing y'all go in that bag. So when y'all decide to give us different food, y'all can't expect us to like the food y'all giving us when y'all didn't give us that three hours before that. It takes time for us to listen to, okay, there's a different loaf. I'm not used to this. I don't know how I feel about this because I'm not used to you, used to, used to you hearing it sounding like this. Thanks. So y'all can't expect us as fans to like what y'all did, to giving us new music or new styles or whatever you're trying to give us. When we're not used to, you're not used you didn't do that before. All right, so let me ask you a question. If I can't have expectations, can you? <laughs> this nigga, what? You're good. You're fucking good. You're fucking good, nigga. You're good. Because let me tell you what I thought. Right. Let me tell you what I thought, right? What I thought was this. All right. Let's say if... Let's say if I, I let you stay in my crib, right? Every day... You know, you clean up, you wash the dishes, you take the trash out. By the time I get up, the crib's spotless, right? Mm -hmm. So now there's this mutual, like, all right. So, you know, let's say after six months, I come downstairs, you in the fridge. Am I going to bark at you for being in the fridge? Or am I going to say, you know what? We developed this mutual thing. Where right. we both exchange something, I uh, all right. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a let, I'm a, I think you kind of earned a place with me. Right, right, right. right I right, think I got that you, I got you. as my contribution that I've given so much to the fans that I've only done one thing for so long. I think that the fans should say, you know what, bro? He kept the crib clean. 
when, when everybody else was mumble rapping and going in that direction, he kept hip hop up, up. He went and did these epic freestyles for us. He gave us so much, man. Look, even if we don't love it the most, let's support our man because at the end of the day, we still want to see him grow and develop. That's what I thought, right? So right. Like, I, like I said, I had expectations and so did y'all. We both got let down on our expectations. So I think that the, the best thing to do is say, all right, let's not have expectations for one another. Let's have appreciation for one another. I appreciate you as a fan, so I'm never going to just deviate from what it is you love. You appreciate me as an artist, so don't just hold me in one space. And let's grow together. You know what I mean? And I think that's a better way to see it instead of both of us being selfish and me saying, all right, well, fuck that shit. You know, uh, Andre 3000 didn't say, fuck rap. That nigga said, I couldn't think of nothing. You know what nobody didn't say? They didn't say, yo, yo all the all, uh, MCs, everybody, let's, let's, let's gather around the brother. Let's give him the support. Let's motivate. Let's encourage him. He's given us so much. He doesn't deserve one bad backlash. Not, he doesn't deserve one. Andre does it. Not one. Let's give him some support. You know what everybody said? Oh man, this shit trash, this shit garbage. Only because we just want it right. right. We we just well, but are, are we are we wrong for that though? Are we wrong? Are we yes. wrong to where they Andre three thousand rap? Yes, we're Ow. wrong for that. We're we're wrong for that because Andre three thousand is not a rapper. He's a human being. All right, below below. If I go from Southern Playlistic, AC Aliens. Aquemini, Stanconia. Who wrote Four that? albums. Who wrote Where you've given us five mic verses, damn the heavy trip. Who wrote that? Three stacks and Big Boy. Okay. Right. Humans. You hey. listen. Motherfuckers look at you and think you're a rapper. Mm -hmm. Motherfuckers think like you were born and the sign was on your forehead, rapper. Nigga, I'm a human, nigga. I want to express myself. Listen, I didn't know Swiss Beat did um did art, did painting. Right. Then when I seen it. Pains, I was like, yo, that's fire. But imagine if Swiss was like, yo, I'm taking the next three years off and I only want to paint. Everybody would be tight, right? But nobody is going to understand his artistic, expressive journey. It's like, bro, you got to let niggas cook, bro. You got to let them get into that what? space. And, and okay. like, you could potentially run the nigga away. Like, we could run Andre 3000 away from hip hop and be, that would be terrible. But that's what people think. What? But, 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 but it's funny you say that. Some it's people here. think, but some people think that he ran away from hip hop by doing a food album. All right, let me tell you something. Hit you with a little bit more wisdom. Talk to me. Even a hero needs a hero because when he goes down, he couldn't be saved from his own ego. Mm. All right. Mm. I know that we don't want Superman to ever take a break. And the reason why we don't want Superman to take a break is because we in need. We like, mm -hmm. Superman, you can't take that cape off, bro. Come on, you know the city is in turmoil. Shit is burning. But guess what Um, what Batman said? Batman said, either you die a hero or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain. So even Batman had to have a polarity change, right? By way of the Joker. The Joker made Batman realize, are you really living for good or are you living through your own ego? So when you see somebody like Andre 3000 and he wants to express himself that way, we have to allow for him to have a polarity because without but, polarity, there's no reason to but even he has to allow, but, but, all right, let's go there. Stay with the word allow. But even him, he has to allow his core fan base who's never heard him play no flutes before to adjust and adapt on oh my nigga. They, they, they have to. Andre, Andre 3000 has worn dresses, Andre 3000 has rocked a fucking perm and been fucking, uh, did hey, yeah. And we didn't like that. I didn't like that, my bad. No, I didn't like that. that's you. I didn't like that. That's, that's I didn't, that song, that song's one of his biggest and, and songs. Just, so, what, we seen the trend. Listen, if we read between the lines, bro, we did, we did see What I'm him. saying is, the him. nigga is eclectic. Oh. And so, when you have such an eclectic nigga, mm -hmm. like Andre 3000, right? right. He come out with wigs. That nigga did, um, you are the prototype, right? All that shit, bro, you gotta understand. He is not the type of nigga you, you can put in a box. So it's, all right, so let me ask you a question. Let's, let's stay with the word growth right quick. So when artists feel that they're doing some, they, they try, they're trying something different, is that really growth? 
Yes, nigga. That's growth. Did he try something different though? Motherfucking right because it got it. Listen, you got to put one foot in front of the other, bro. Listen, let me tell you something. Let me tell you how it's growth. So I started trying something that was really out of the box, right? I started trying this melodic shit, right? And mm -hmm. and um, my A and R told me straight up, like, like if if like if you do this shit, like like stop, like no, like no. I um, um you know, he, he, in his exact words, he was like, look. You're no Michael Jackson. Like, stop. Right. All right. That shit fueled me because it made me feel like. So you think all I am is this lyrical rapper? Like, I'm not an artist. Like, I don't. I can't expand. Right. So mm -hmm. uh, it made me go harder. Me and that A and R fell out. Right. I end up getting off the label. I end up going through the legal to get off the label. Now I'm independent. Right. And and. Since then, I've written for Keisha Cole. I've written for Usher, mm -hmm. right? None of that stuff would have ever happened if I would have stopped trying to learn and understand melody. Mm -hmm. I was able to write for them because I understood melody at this point. Now, this is like years later, but the growth and development is after that. So I got a record right now with, um, with Wiz Khalifa and Juicy J. Right on the record together. Right. I'm on the record singing. I'm singing the hook mm -hmm. in the bridge. Them niggas is rapping. So it inspired me to even want to do rap. Like I A and R that myself. Like yo, I'm putting Wiz and Juicy on the same record, but I'm a I'm a sing the hook. I'm not even rapping. You know, I'm gonna have to hear Flack when that song come out. The niggas will be like, you didn't rap. So are you are, are you conscious? Of, are you conscious enough to know that? When you tapped that back with them, we, did you know that already? Listen. That your corporate when I, when, when base was filled away. Check this out. Yes, but I was more concerned about the artist, right? Because <clears throat> you do the art for the art. You don't do the art for the fan. Okay. You do the art for the art, and then whoever likes okay. it enjoys okay. it. Right, so, right, 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 right. So listen, I was more concerned about Wiz and Juicy, because I'm like, am I valid enough to sing on a record mm. y'all to with y'all two fucking legends, nigga. Am, am I valid enough to, to right. sing? I know right. I can rap on the record, but am mm -hmm. I valid enough? When I, when I had an A&R telling me, stop, right? right? Am I valid enough? So when I sent it to Wiz, and Wiz said it, this shit was fire, and then I sent it to Juicy, and Juicy said it shit was fire, and then they both, Wiz came to the studio and cut his verse. Juicy sent me his verse. They both went crazy. I realized I have something. So when you say, yo, it's trying something new, is that growth? Mm -hmm. That's the initiation to growth. When you try something new, you gotta keep going and then you grow and you develop in that new thing that you've tried. But, and, but and let me ask you a question. Shouldn't right. most of these artists right now today try something new? Like right now, when you look at the state of music right now, right? right. Don't you think a lot of these artists should try some new shit Yes, I do, but here's the thing. I can say I can say yes, but then my, my next question would be, my rebuttal would be, what should they try? I mean, they should try something new, period. Because listen, if, if they if they keep doing what they're doing, then music ain't going music is not gonna grow and develop. That's well, for sure. Ask, do, you, do you think hip hop is on life support right now? No. Cause I wanna talk about that. I wanna talk about, like I said, the origin of hip hop was like this shit. It mm -hmm. It was a it was a melting but, pot of a bunch of why shit. can't why, why can't we say three stacks try something we don't like it is that closed minded we say it's whack is that closed minded or, or can it just be whack it's closed minded because listen why because let me tell you something when your son right <clears throat> when you put him on, on his on his first bike right, right. and you take the training wheels off for the first time right mm -hmm. and that little nigga like when when when, when he, when he make it, he fall, he, he get back on. <clears throat> and when he make it back to you, you don't say, yo, son, that was whack. The fuck is you doing? That shit was whack. Yo, matter of fact, yo, 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 son, don't ride bikes no more. No, you tried it. No. No, you say, look, son, you fall down, you get back up, you keep trying, you keep trying, 
remember, stay balanced, stay focused. When we, and that's what we would do for a child. But for men, because men don't get treated like children and men don't get loved. Men don't get treated like children. They don't get loved like women. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, we have to let men <clears throat> develop. Below. And I'm going to tell you, and, and, and look, no, no, three, listen yeah, to me, because you're going, three, yeah, three, yeah. you're going to learn something from me, yeah. three. Right, let me right, tell you right. something, bro, you right. real shit. Right. It's, a lot of, it's a lot of men in this life, bro. But look, before you go, my thing is this. You can't take a freaking over 10-year hiatus and come back with flu to your listen, clear court. Let me ask you a question. Over there, bro. All right, let me ask you a question, three. Why did he take the 10 year hiatus? I don't Brody? know. No, good question. I'm not privy, I'm not privy yeah. to know. So, this is what I'm trying to tell you. For 10 years, he was he didn't take a hiatus. For 10 years, he was trying to come up with something and couldn't find it. Listen, in his mind, mm -hmm. I know that he could have gave us his trash throwaways and we would have been like, but when, when he doesn't have the confidence to understand mm -hmm. that, he comes back and he says to us, as his family, I really, 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 really wanted to fucking rap. I, I couldn't find it. And this is where I was led. Mm -hmm. and, and we say, trash. Do you know what we do to someone's confidence for them to ever? So now he like, not only was I lost, now I'm super lost. Now I'm super you lost. shut up and listen to this stupid ass nigga down there. But again, I apologize. My bad. I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right? But, but, but I'm just saying that every other genre of people mm -hmm. get, they don't get this bubble, bro. They don't get this fucking, like, look, check this out. Machine Gun Kelly, somebody I, I, I think is a dope artist. Um, mm -hmm. You got niggas like Lil Dicky and all these niggas, right? right. Lil Dicky can make bad hip hop. He can make some good mm -hmm. raps. He can do some dope freestyles. He can make some cool, catchy songs. He can go do comedy. He can go do TV shows. And then he can just come back, just walk in and out the door. Nobody is like, yo, look, what you doing? Right? Mm -hmm. And Machine Gun Kelly can rap, get into battles, do all this shit, whatever, whatever. And then say, all right, I'm going to do all fucking alternative or fucking punk rock or whatever the whole shit he did nominated with uh with travis barker right he can he could do that his fans it's just like they whatever they love the fact that he can give and deliver so many things right but then we have drake and we say stop singing stop doing this just rap just this bro we we have to stop limiting our artists because what we're going to do is we're going to hinder the ability to create the next Michael Jackson. We're, we're not going to create the next. You wonder why there's no more Michael Jacksons? You wonder why there's no more Princes or Stevie Wonders? Because we're not letting niggas play flutes, my nigga. Stevie Wonder played the fucking harmonica. Harmonica, yeah. Right. We're not letting niggas develop right. and play instruments. But, look, but can, look. You, can you think your favorite rapper drops some whack shit and still support them? Bro, can you do both of both things? It's It's not whack if first of all it wasn't it wasn't bad he wasn't bad at playing the flute let's let's get that out the way he wasn't bad i'm not saying the nigga was fucking going Listen, crazy I didn't go to, I'm, I'm saying who, who's what I'm college saying. school man i don't know how this works man. it was like basic flute it was like basic flute shit it wasn't like crazy uh, but here's what i'm gonna say why are we not allowing people to be you see, look at this, going crazy out there. Why are we not allowing him? So Michael Jackson's father would not allow him to drop whack shit. Just the fact Joe Jackson would not allow Michael Jackson to drop no but, whack shit. But guess what? He had to abuse him for that to happen. Okay, I, well, I, 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 don't, want to go, I don't want to go that way. No, no this, is told right. by, this is told by Michael Jackson. Right, 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 had, right, 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 right. He had to get abused for that to happen. And, and so, like I said, if Michael Jackson fell off the bike, he got his ass whipped. You know, mm. we we can't handle each other like this because everyone else gets to just be whoever the fuck they want to be. And all we do is pigeonhole, hate, and limit our artists and our community. And we don't really embrace shit. We just a bunch, let's keep it real, we a bunch of haters. I, I, I agree to a degree, but I also disagree because prime example, I love Common, right? I love Common. But when he went through the 
like one of a chocolate thing and was wearing orange shirts and purple pants and wasn't rapping. I, I wasn't rocking with Common like that at that time. That's, that's not the common but, thing I bro, know. Why do From you? Boomin and Boomin and Jeep. That's the common. I know. I used to love a common. Let me ask you a question. Right? Why do you limit Common and the rest of the world to your perspective? Because what Common was given to me prior before like one of a chocolate electric circus and all oh, that that's your, yes your, that's your entitlement that's your oh, that's, limited he was rapping low the music he was dropping listen what i'm saying though that's your limited entitled perspective bro it's limited or what the brother was giving me but what like every trip for, for years what i'm saying in limited is this it was limited a to classic. the thing that you like most it was limited to the thing that you liked most I didn't like that. I didn't. I didn't. I wasn't feeling. I was, I was on live with my niece a couple months ago, and she and she brought up a song. She was like, "Uncle, uncle, man, I really love that song you you did." And I'm like, "What song?" And it was a song um called "Love You Down." All right. The whole song I'm just singing. At the time when I did this song, I couldn't really sing like that. Like it's like kind of bad, but I was kind of good. Is is you know, it's her favorite song. When I went on tour. Um, I I would do that song and 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 girls would go crazy. I would bring a girl on stage. I would sing the song to her, right? So R and B like type of song. Um, I I wouldn't say it's any man's favorite at all. And, and so what you got to understand is that you're not even allowing the feminine side of what women like what other people like outside of your own perspective. That's why I say it's limited. If girls are singing Drake lyrics or singing, you know, um, whatever it is and whatever the lyrics are, but then niggas is like, yo, that shit is soft. But all the girls love it. It's not soft, nigga. It was not for you. It wasn't for you, nigga. It was for softer, feminine women. Like imagine you rapping the girls, you're like, yo, bitch, I love you, bitch. I it's like, no, there's modes, there's gears. When I'm talking to you, and me and you is like, yo, 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 no, no, no. But if I'm on here with a woman, I'm like, yeah, no, no, no. There's, there's, there's different vibes. Different vibes. So it's, it's vibes. like, you got to let artists, bro, wear orange shirts and purple pants because it's for the bitches sometimes. It ain't for you. He didn't wear that shit for three to be like, yo, what you got on? But the girls is like, mm, I but love those colors on you, Common. Common wasn't making raps for ladies, no, but, though. Lows. But I'm saying he's he's a... He's a ladies' man, though. Uh, shout, shout Yo, you know, you know, listen, listen. you know. I seen a podcast the other day where they said Common is the uh, is the male uh, Lori Harvey. <laughs> oh man, dog. Yo, I thought I that shit was. Know. You know, I thought that was funny because you know, like Common been with Maddie these. Yes, yes. You know, he been with a couple of baddies. Yeah, yeah, like baddies. The, absolutely. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they kind of like. So they're gonna say like, chicks is on Common. Like, you gotta understand when he was wearing a crochet pants and all that shit like he um because we joked him about mm -hmm. that shit right because it's like anti-hip-hop right but we with erica badu what's more hip-hop than being with erica badu I, nigga? listen listen man what's more hip-hop than your girl being erica I love badu, that. I, nigga? I, I, I thought erica badu's video well so if erica badu you know put I mean? the nigga some in some crochet pants nigga we got a whole that you know me listen listen three if you if you if you link up with Erica Badu and she put the Baduism on you and I see you in the crochet pants, I'm gonna listen, understand. She turned out comment. Listen, she turned out comment. She turned out RGB thousand. Electronica. Jay Electronica. <laughs> Jay Electronica. <laughs> Yo, she like Oprah. You get some crochet pants. You get some crochet pants. You get some. Uh, Everybody uh, get some crochet uh, pants. Uh, hey, look and guess what? Carmen got album of the year. Right, that's what I'm about to do, right? Mess, oh, man. With that crazy. ism. Yeah, that's wild. That's wild. Hey, and, and, she, hey, and she still got that ism. And DOC. Shout out to that ace in the bottom. DOC. Yeah, my dude, but I'm Oh, yo, DOC. Hey, yo, look. And she still got that ism, too. Absolutely. You see clips. Absolutely. You see them clips, Absolutely. right? Huh? She holding. She holding. Listen, man. She smuggling uh, immigrants. <laughs> <laughs> Dog. <laughs> He's smuggling That's some crazy. immigrants. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, man. Border control. I'm going to call border control <laughs> next time. <laughs>
For real. It's getting out of hand. <laughs> Shout out Miss Badu, man. For real. For yeah, Badu, like, what? In the Maybe. 50s? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lost, I appreciate you as always, brother. Yo, good, good talk. Bro, you know, anytime, bro. Yo, gotta have these healthy hip hop conversations. Hey, but, but, but listen, I'm gonna tell you one thing though, because I was talking, I was, I was on the um, I was on the phone with five mics the other day, right? Me and five, me, five mics, me and five mics supposed to do a live too, right? Okay, but I told five, I said, because five got on most for the kilt, right? All right, right. And, oh boy, and, um, <laughs> and um, oh boy, and, <laughs> how you feel about that? And I'm gonna okay, tell you. And 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 most initially said Drake's not hip hop, right? Then apologize. And, and then apologize. And, and apologies is always terrible. It's like if you say some shit, either stand on it, right? Stand on it, right? Stand on what you said, because now it seems like you don't want that smoke. So I, I, I love most so, death, man. Come on now, man. But I don't respect the statement. Period, because I think it's made immaturely, and um. <clears throat> So I told Five Mike something that was interesting, cause he was like, "Yo, you 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 saying Drake not hip hop, and then you turn around and you got on this motherfucking kilt, and in the caption, most is like, this is not a woman's dress, right? I, I was kilt. He's in another country, all that shit. Let me tell you something about perspective, bro. Perspective is a motherfucker, right? So most says Drake is not hip hop, and when he says that." We're assuming that that's based on a criteria, mm -hmm. right? Because if, if 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 I'm like, if I say, yo, three, that's not gangster, my nigga. Mm -hmm. And then you see me go do some tutti fruity shit, you can be like, yo, you, you, yeah, <laughs> you, you, you just you just told me what I did wasn't gangster, and, and now you're doing some tutti fruity shit. Mm -hmm. So what we assume when most def said that, right? We assume that oh, most def got this standard of hip hop that's like this. It's like up here. And, and and the reason why he's saying Drake ain't hip hop is because in his mind, Drake don't meet the criteria right. of the sustainability of integrity that, that most is on. Then we see most in a kilt, my nigga. So check this out. The reason why now most's statements are invalidated is because his initial premise, right? His previous assertion was based on some that we thought was a high standard or a high criteria for hip hop, which we know a lot of old school niggas got. So we was gonna get at the most on the strength of like, right. all right, you 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 on some? If it ain't underground, if it ain't this, it ain't hip hop. All right, cool. I don't agree, but okay, cool. Then you pop out in the queue. Drake won. So Drake won because, <laughs> you, because Drake, yo Drake won so silently too. Drake kept it classy and just won oh, and I, like that. That was the universe. Now listen, Five Mike was like, yo, the kill. But I said this though. So let's go back to the orange shirt, crochet pants, purple pants, right? Mm -hmm. I called five, five Mike's and I said, yo, Five, I got to tell you something though. Hip pop has always been zesty. And this is something that we don't talk about enough. Hip hop has always been zesty. Two in the bathroom? I don't think the Pac in the bathtub is as zesty as some of the shit that I'm talking about. I think Pac in the bathtub was, again, that was for bitches. So that's not, not really zesty. Like, he know he had a, a, an appeal or to Or Drake bitches, with right? fingernail polish? I don't know. No, because here, here's what I'm going to say. I'm not going to say wearing fingernail polish is zesty. Here, here's what I will say, though. I, I don't wear fingernail polish, right? I don't even mm. get clear no more. I, used to get clear. I, I don't get clear no more. But this is what I'm going to say, though. A lot of punk rock motherfuckers, a lot of rock and roll motherfuckers did that shit, and it was just considered rebellion, right? Mm. And so rebellion is never zesty because to rebel, you got to go against the status quo, right? <clears throat> so I'm not going to say that a zesty motherfucker can't wear nail polish because a zesty motherfucker can. not But I'm not going to solely just say, <clears throat> nail polish is zesty. I don't wear nail polish. It ain't my thing. But I'm not just going to say, yo, you got on nail polish because you zesty. I bet a nigga will have on nail polish could knock another nigga the fuck out. And he'd be like, so zesty, <clears throat> zesty could be a lot of shit, right? But I don't think, I don't think that's zesty. And I, because that's why I want to go back to the kilt. Because some niggas could call it a dress, some niggas could call it a kilt. So that shows right there that it is all perspective, right? 
because it's the same material, it's the same design, <clears throat> excuse me, as a dress, right? So let me ask you a question. When most have put on that kilt, that garment with those boots and like the legging joints underneath, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question, three. Do you think his intentions was to cater to something zesty? Do you think that was his intentions? I don't even know no. what his intention was. I don't even think I'm I, sorry, I, I want to know, no, I want to know what you think. What you think though? <laughs> like when you see him do it, do you think that he felt like he was doing some culture out of the country, Scottish shit? Like, yo, I'm I'm abroad, I'm traveled, I'm cultured. Or do you think he was like, yo, I'm gonna put this on in a zesty way? Like I'm not, not, I, I, won't, I, won't, I won't use a zesty word with most stuff. I won't use a zesty word. Oh, though. okay, then so this is what I'm saying. Perspective shows us this. Culturally, in another nigga's culture. That's a kilt because it's just a garment. Mm -hmm. In our culture, it's a motherfucking skirt. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it shows that if it could be one thing in this culture and one thing in our culture, that we just have a cultural difference and our perspectives vary, which is why I won't necessarily call fingernail polish zesty because when a punk rock nigga do it or a, 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 a death metal dark devil worshiping ass motherfucker got all his nails painted it ain't because he gay it ain't because he's zesty it's because he's rebelling against whatever your system is he's like ah right that's and, and we don't look at that and say that's that's zesty that's gay we be like oh niggas from kiss niggas from uh you know steve tyler and all the motherfuckers all they, they shit, rock right? stars right? Right? So, right so so all i'm saying is it's wrong that everything we do is gay everything we do is gay oh that's gay that why why do we do that i i think that we have an extreme homophobia in the hip hop community. We have an extreme homophobia. And not only that, right? All the niggas from back then of the origin of hip hop, if that's the case, was the zestiest niggas that ever lived. Three, you want me to pull you up? You gotta give me some names, my nigga. I'm not letting you get that off. Are they gonna let you me? You gotta give me some names. Are they gonna... Hold on, hold on, three. Give me some names. Three. So, listen, we're not saying run to I got you, three. Yeah. Three, I got you. Three, I got you. What did say? I went clean and polished. Three, I got you, brother. Watch this. Watch this, bro. Oh, brother. Grandmaster Flash. You said Grandmaster Flash yeah. and Grandmaster Cass? Bro, <laughs> and not just him. It, yo, his whole crew? No, I got to show oh, you the people the because... Serious Five and the Treacherous Three. Is that what you're going through, Los? Yo. Sir, I'm talking about Run DMC. Yo, no. No, 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 no. See, boy. now you taking one era of hip hop well, and you say that's not where it started. It started no, with Grandmaster Flash. Yeah, but that one nigga, that's that's you can't do that. My era is Curtis hey. Blow down. Hey, bro, bro, check right. this out. Hip hop is it, it did not start <laughs> and stop. Take a load. <laughs> hip, hip hip hop did not start and stop. With your era. No, it did not. No, it did not. No, no. So so we got to go back to the origin of things, right? Yeah, absolutely. Now okay. we're, we're talking about 70 something so, to the 70s. The, 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 uh, 70s to the 80s. Okay. So, so when we study the origins of hip hop, mm -hmm. these niggas was the zestiest dressing niggas so, on the planet. It was the African Mamada era. Check this out. These niggas, had on, make, these, these niggas had on make. These niggas had on makeup, eyeliner. These niggas had curls and shit these niggas had on shirts that stopped here right whole whole bellies whole torso but george, whole clinton, george clinton and all the other niggas did that same and, thing and, too though this is what i'm saying though but this is hip-hop right right and so we when we saw george clinton do it we didn't say it was zesty because it was funk it was funk. Mm -hmm. so what i'm saying is if the origin of hip-hop has the same shit how can we now look at a little Uzi Vert and say, oh, his outfit is out of pocket. That's not hip hop. But he got the same shit Fab Five Freddy had on. On God. Uzi got on the same shit Fab Five Freddy got on. Let me pull up the picture. I, I, I feel weird putting Fab Five Freddy's name and little Uzi Vert's name in the same sentence. I don't know why that sounds incriminating. Hip hop, hip -hop incrimination. But, you know. Bro, 
Y'all gotta respect that Uzi, bro. Yeah. I... No, not Fat Five Freddy, Grandmaster Flash and them niggas. The message and all that. Right. But the way they were dressed, that was a style wearing the punk outfits with the black leather Hold joint. on, nah, nah, chill. Spike, nah, chill. Hair and all that. Nah, chill. I'm gonna uh, show you though, cause nah, uh, it was not just that. It was the feminine shit too, nigga. It was the feminine shit too. I gotta see you talking, my brother. Stop it. Look, look, in this, look into this nigga's eyes. That oh, quirk? Hold on. Look into this nigga's eyes, I don't want nigga. Hey, yeah. but no, look, look at the nigga right here. Hold on, hold on. Three, three. All look right. at my man right here. Look, look into his eyes. Look. Look. Man, that's what we... Look. <laughs> look. Hey, listen. This is what I'm saying. So if, if, if Uzi wears something and the nigga say, oh, that's not hip-hop, or that's this... This is the origin of it. These niggas dressed like on some real shit. They dress like they're ready to go to an all man party. Yeah, this shit is like Sado Master District and all that shit. <laughs> Hold on, hey, 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 three. Look at your man's. Hold on, three. Look at your man. This thing is crazy, man. No, hold on. Look at your man. Yo, your man is wild. Look, look at your man. Look at your man. Hold on. Look at this nigga. Hold on, look at this nigga on the end right here. Look, him right here. Look what he got on. Three, look, three. <laughs> hey, three. It's a little crazy, three. a little crazy, a little crazy, a little crazy. <laughs> but I come from the This is hip hop. Boom. Three. This is hip hop. But listen, look. run these oh, Look came. at these niggas. Run these Look at this man right run. here. Hold on. Hold on, look. Look, hold on. Look at this man right there. <laughs> That <laughs> thing is crazy, I don't want to hear, so that's what I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear Drake ain't hip-hop. I don't want to hear... Listen, the thing with Drake is this. He comes from the Fonte Trito lineage. The Fonte lineage. Can I say that? What you mean? Fonte. He's inspired by Fonte and all that. When he first came... Inspired by, it's inspired by a lot of people. But, 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 but Fonte is real prominent next to Drake's name. A lot of people say Drake took took a little bit from Fonte and threw a little South Sweden on there, you know what I mean? In hip-hop, there's no such thing as taking. Hip-hop is a culture. So the definition of culture is to mm -hmm. hand down to the generations that come after you. There's mm -hmm. no that's like me saying. I took from Big Pun and I took from Big L. No, I studied these niggas. I mm -hmm. assimilated to their formulas, right? I put it in my in my in my plethora of you know uh, abilities, and right. I and I and I put that shit into my art. You know what I'm saying? They did it. You know what I'm saying? They left those hieroglyphs for me to study and become better because hip hop is supposed to make the generation ahead of you better than you. That's what culture mm. is, right? You want your son to be greater than you, right? You don't Absolutely. want your son, right? Absolutely. So, so, so I'm the son of pun, big L, cannabis, right. <clears throat> um, you know, um, AZ. Black Thought. Yeah, Black Thought, all these niggas, <laughs> right? And I, and I take everything that they gave me because it's culture. I didn't steal from them. I yeah. might got a rap that might say, uh, Something is like, like literally, pivotally, literally, misery, misery, and I, and I didn't steal from Pun, nigga. He left that for me, nigga. Right, right, he right, left right. that for the ones who was right. good enough to oh figure out how he said did in the middle of little Italy, little Italy, no little zero middle man who didn't do. If if I could figure that out and break that down and know how to do it, Pun is smiling from the grave, bro. So all this like somebody took from this. When it comes to hip hop, there's no taking. There's no taking. It's all was left. For whoever comes after you, there's no taking, is, bro. Is there biting? Huh? Is there biting? Is there biting? That's, that's been prop. That's been prevalent. That I, word's been thrown around forever. Biting. Biting. There, biting. There, biting. there is. There is. There is biting because biting is linear, though. Mm. Culture is. If the nigga, if they were before mm. you, you can have anything they left, right? Like if if, if you was at a dinner table and you got up and you left, I can mm. come sit at that table and eat whatever's left on that table you left that there now right. if you and me 
the same age, the same shit, and we and you do some shit, and I peep it, and then I go do what you did. I'm biting. Right, biting, biting, biting. I'm biting. So let me but ask, I think when they say Jay Z was biting for Biggie, you say I, you say what to that? I don't think Jay Z was biting. For Biggie. I never believe. I, I never. That, I, I never believe. That I think. I think either. that Biggie set such a massive precedence that Jay Z was influenced by Biggie. So there's a difference. You got culture. You got influence, mm -hmm. and then you got biting. Mm -hmm. No, Jay Z was influenced by Big, and he says it time and time again. Once I tell you that I'm influenced by Big, I say a Big I'm versus big enough, enough to do it. Big enough, my brother. Big enough, big enough to do it. Do it. Like, yeah, he's telling you that. Like telling you, yo, and and it's the thing. If that's the case, the entire the entire R and B world is biting Stevie Wonder. Then Chris Brown is biting Michael Jackson. Don't make no sense. <laughs> Michael Jackson's biting James Brown. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Man, Michael's biting James Brown. Get the fuck up, bro. Right, 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 right. That's a, that's the fourth part. That's the tree, though. Like rock. Nas comes from the G rap, rock Kim tree. You feel me? Yeah. Look, 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 look how much hope um um hope got from uh, Big Daddy Kane. Absolutely. 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 He, even 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 when he got from Jazz O, we can't count Jazz O out. Can't count Jazz O out. Absolutely, absolutely. Can't so, and, and that's o. another yeah. thing, three. When we make all these allegations and shit, we start cutting niggas out of history. Like, yo, you you do realize that we have the most underappreciated genre that I, ever exists. Absolutely. Agree. Agree. And it's because Agree. we do shit like this. We put these limits and these windows on these artists and even not letting Andre 3000 get a flute album off. Let him get that shit off, bro. Let him get that shit so, out of his fucking soul. All right. You know what I mean? Let him get, on, get that shit out of his soul. Let him get so, it out. If, if someone sounds like someone else, right? What do you, what do you call that? Um, um, it could be um, emulating. It could be, it's a lot of shit. Like, or it could be proximity. Probably like a lot of Atlanta true. niggas sound like each other. You, you're Right, they were being great. All right, Action Bronson, right? When he came out, people said what? He sounded like Ghostface Killer, right? Yeah. Do you think Action Bronson went out of his way? He went out of his way to sound like Ghostface? Of course. Because now, right? Where's Action Bronson Queens. from originally? He's from Queens. Okay. So it's cultural influence. Mm -hmm. And um, he's culturally influenced by, by those niggas. Um, because he's a... White boy, right? Action Bronson, yeah. white, right? Is he mixed or white? Argentina, Argentina I think, something like that. Something okay. Like that. Yeah. yeah, You so so you see, it's just a cultural influence. And if he gives and pays homage and does it the proper way, like Eminem did, like Eminem paid the proper homage early on because he knew, I I'm doing some shit that I, I got from another group of people, but I grew up in the culture. I grew up in the culture. You get a pass from us because we like, look, just give us our just do. You know, now, if he shit on Ghostface, or if he, like, didn't pay Ghostface that homage, then he owe up. He owe up. Armenian, right. Armenian. Let me make, he's Armenian, right? Okay, then, right. Then, he, but he, then he owe up, because he's outside of the diaspora. He's not, he's not, tip, tip, per se, one but of Ghost us. But Ghostface got mad about that shit. I remember Ghostface did got mad, because you know why? Because, I'll tell you what, it's one thing to be influenced by somebody, but it's one thing to try to sound exactly like them. I took from everybody I love, but I don't sound exactly right, you don't like sound, none of them. Like, Big L. You like he literally easy. sounded like Ghostface, and that's a that's a slap in the face, especially when you ain't paying in homage, when you ain't, like, it's a lot, yeah, because imagine what Ghostface had to do to be Ghostface. Like, I was having a conversation the other day, and nigga was telling me, I was talking about Whitney Houston, and, you know, Whitney Houston had wrote a Dolly Parton had wrote a Whitney Houston song. And, and I'll, always love you. Telling, I'll Always Love You, right? Yeah. I think it was I'll Always Love You song, right, 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 right. right, and, right. and motherfucker was telling me, like, you know Dolly Parton is the biggest. She got the most number ones. She got all this and all this. And I said, I said, let me tell you something about reality. Fact, fact, Ace, my bad. I said, I said, listen, let me tell you something about reality. You can't, can't always base things on reality if the other person on the other side of that reality had to be delusional to make the same pro progress. Whitney Houston had to be delusional to be Whitney Houston. Dolly Parton just had to be Dolly Parton. There's a cultural 
little difference here. You're talking about somebody who's accepted and received into something and allowed, right? That's what I'm saying. That's why we can't put limits on our own people because she's allowed, Dolly Parton is allowed to just be Dolly Parton, right? She's great. And Dolly, Dolly is the shit. I love Dolly Parton. She's mm -hmm. amazing. Mm -hmm. But then you got somebody like Whitney Houston. She got to be delusional you know, to even make it from her environment. She got to be delusional to even focus that much on something and be that great at something. She got to evade everything that's really existing around her. Dolly just gets to be Dolly. And so at the end of the day, bro, bro we got to stop putting these limits, yo. Uh, it's like we project our own fear of greatness. I think, I think sometimes, honestly, we'd be afraid we might just birth the next, like, Jesus or something. We'd yeah. be like, yo, let's just keep everybody right regular like we do i don't know bro we be stopping niggas from being great like i like niggas like little yadi and niggas like that bro you do yeah yeah i do you, you don't think yadi is dope you yeah. hip-hop like that, that like you just like bro i think yadi i like niggas, I like niggas that go rap oh, low i gotta be oh, let me ask you a question man. did yadi not do good on that song with j cole he did okay what more did I... okay hey, hold on what more do you want from yadi I don't know. I don't know if I want anything from Yadi. I don't know if I want anything from Yadi. Number one, right, respectfully. And number two, I got as an old head. You got. I'm an old head, so I gotta remember that Yadi's not for me. So I'm not an old head who's gonna shit on a young youth, right? Like I'm not an NBA young boy fan. That's my son. My son loves NBA young boy. He loves Kodak. He Kodak. likes Dirk. That's his crazy. Hold on, stop. Kodak is crazy. I, I like Kodak. I like Kodak. I like Kodak. I, I actually like Kodak. Kodak. You talking about can I, rap? Kodak can Kodak rap. Kodak has like introspective songs also. That I like also, right? But that's not that's not for me. That's for his age group, so I understand that. So I'm not the old man and shit on the on the young niggas I, and shit like that. I just know it's not right, for so, me. So look, 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 let me give you a parallel. What makes Yachty any different from Shop G? From Digital Humpty. Underground? From Digital Humpty. Underground? Humpty. We're not comparing little Yachty to RIP. Shock, we're not doing that, are we? I'm asking you, so, so hold on, hold on, hold on. Humpty was, was a character, bro. Stop it. But he gave us quotable lyrics. Like, think about this. I never got busy, I never got busy in the Burger King bathroom. That lived in my heart and soul. But bro. Little Yachty ain't never say no shit like that. Bro, that touched my soul. Bro. I wasn't doing this. Listen. I wasn't listen, doing the Humpty dance. Listen. I was doing the Humpty dance. Let me tell you something. Go ahead. He says, he says things like that to his era. Yes, he does. But I was buying the underground sex package tape and all bro, that. We're bro, not doing that. Bro, listen. When you look at all what, around the world, saying so. Bro, what are you, what bro are you listen. Talking about? He wasn't. He wasn't. Shock G wasn't just writing all that shit by himself. It was a group. No, I'm but I'm saying, sure was, but Humpty, I'm saying Humpty the character, right? All right. Was a character that Shock created on purpose so he could he could evade being pigeon held mm -hmm. to just a standard he had to create a character where he wore glasses and a fucking nose right so he could come on there and say shit you know uh -huh. that wouldn't be necessarily received in the hip-hop world he had to create a character and it was genius oh the sun's trying to come out it was genius mm -hmm. right so all i'm saying is you get somebody like um you get somebody like little yachty I'm when, sorry, that little Yachty shock G analogy is crazy. Listen, my nigga. It's crazy. I'm telling you right now, how good do you think Shock G could rap, nigga? Better than little Yachty twice on Sunday. I didn't ask you that. I asked you, how good do you think Shock G could rap in comparison to the people who could really rap at that time? All right. Oh, all right. This is the only answer I can give you, right? The only answer I can give you is this. I was buying digital underground tapes with all the nice niggas no. that was out. Whether that was gangsta, you know what you confusing it. You know what you confusing it with. Scarface. You know what you confusing it with. You know what you confusing it with. What you confusing it with 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 what digital underground stood for. I'm not not talking about what they stood all for. Right. I'm not talking about what they represented. Shock G was a fucking right. genius, bro. But what I'm saying is, when we don't recognize the genius in our youth, mm -hmm. right? Like Soldier Boy, right? Everybody want to shit on Soldier Boy. Soldier Boy's a fucking genius, bro. He has a genius that that that's maybe not for you. Mm -hmm. Maybe when you look at Soldier Boy, right, like that's, that's not a genius that's for me. 
But the fact that he could get millions and millions and millions of people around the world to sing his records, he come up with this catchy shit. He's 15 years old, 16 years old, right? That's genius. It is. You're, it is. You're, 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 so, so when we can see the, the genius in Shot, Shot G when he was a teenager going into his 20s in Pac, why do we marginalize the new genius because it's a different language, it's a different frequency? Lil Yachty and them niggas is geniuses in their own right because they wouldn't be this massive mm -hmm. if they didn't have something palatable. Something's there, mm -hmm. right? And I mean, Soulja Boy's proved it time and time again, though, mm -hmm. right? But how many times did we try to shit on Soulja Boy? No more times. Not fair. Numerous so Ice T told Soulja Boy, Soulja Boy suck I, a deep. You I, I, see, I'm you, I'm hold that. on, let me let me say right. for the people, Soulja Boy suck a right. deep. You single handedly kill hip hop, bro. That narrative began there. The narrative that we use. You single handedly kill hip hop. Must I pull up another picture of these niggas? Stop it. We gotta we gotta stop thinking that hip hop is just gangster rap. We gotta stop you thinking hip hop is just lyrical rap. Because what I'm making a comparison is Humpty was allowed to have fun. Miss Marky too, fat boys. So, also. so what I'm saying is the fat not they had a song called All You Can Eat. All you can Yo, eat. Think about that. Oh, listen, we're not allowing, we not allowing right. little Yachty and um and 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 artists right. like that to be a right. part of a hip hop conversation uh. when hip hop was inclusive. Hip hop was never exclusive. Hip hop was never never like, oh, you get out. Hip hop was like, hey, everybody who who rebels against everything, come on, this is hip hop, and we're gonna express it through music. We're gonna express it through art and dance. It was no, hip hop. It's, it's, hip hop, the only genre of music that we have different sub genres in it, though. Like you said, the the um, the, the, the gangster rap, the uh, political Chuck D kind of rap, right? Backpack rap. You want to go in that? You don't hate backpack rap. I, mean, I ain't always hated that terminology. How you feel about that terminology? Backpack rap. I've always hated that backpack rap bullshit. I never liked that. Um, I get yeah, that's it. Pigeonhole. That's pigeonhole hip hop. If you ask but, me. But but backpack rappers. What? Is right. Are, are are some of the most conditioned niggas? What is that? Tribe Called Quest? That's the Sonic? Is that we? Is that we? No, Tribe Called Quest. Tribe Called Quest. They not Tribe Called Quest. No, no, no. Tribe Called Quest wouldn't be backpackers because they they had commercial success. A backpacker is a person who predominantly stays underground and they don't want to go into those other. Oh, you the know, Bush Baby, the Boogie Monsters, and shit like I think that. like no, I think backpack rap. To be honest with you is anybody who's never made it like mainstream okay. and it's just all about lyric it's all about lyrical content because i think the backpack was symbology of the nigga who kept his notebook in his in his in his backpack he he had he had a thousand he had a, I, I, you know i think at one point i was a backpack rapper you know a composition book with a thousand bars <laughs> that's, that's a backpack nigga because because you know, they consider you backpack. I, I had a like that. I homeboy who was backpack like but nobody can fuck with that nigga because he had millions of rats. He was a backpack rapper, right? But then it evolved into like, if you had mainstream success, you was no longer a backpacker, bro. You was like, backpack was like a look and a fucking like subculture. Like, yeah, them backpack niggas, just like them underground niggas. Want, it's all in the same. Like 98. It's, right. it's all in the same shit, you know? Just like mumble rap. That's a fucking subgenre under hip hop. When 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 did this license get when did this happen that we licensed that though? What, what year let me tell you something. <laughs> scat, let me tell you something. Mumble rap comes from scat. Okay. It comes I'm from scat. scat. And scat is jazz, mm -hmm. right? All this shit comes from jazz, blues, absolutely. funk, and soul. Absolutely, 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 absolutely. So when them motherfuckers was like, like you know, and it's Okay, it's way more intricate. Don't 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 let me not ever try and disrespect scat, right? Because these motherfuckers have they understand scaling and toning, right? So they wanna did he that did that? But when you was creating records, well, certain artists create records, it starts off as a scat. Mm -hmm. The beat playing, you going then mm then -hmm. then mm -hmm. then 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 
They was inadvertently doing scat and not knowing it. Because they was getting into pockets. Hey, say that, but then but then but hey, but then it. And they were starting to leave the mumbles in in the reference because it was so good. So it turned into like a form of like evolved scat. Right? Like, mm. like graffiti or like, you know what I'm saying? It, it just evolved into like, but it got shunned upon because it was like, well, that ain't words. Y'all ain't even saying no words, but we don't say that when it comes to scat. When the motherfuckers are going to be we ain't saying all nigga, you ain't saying no words. I think that honestly, bro, I think that most people have a limited perspective on life. And I think mm -hmm. they all project their limited perspective onto other people. And we're very selfish to not let things evolve. You know what I'm saying? I think we've evolved past mumble rap. You don't, you don't see as much mumble rap no more. You don't see now that you did that one particular that time, though. You don't see right. that. And right. would you say the lyrics are making a comeback? I thought. I thought. Semi? Semi? I, I, I thought. I thought. You know, you still got Cole, Kendrick. You still got Benny, Rap. Who are the most revered and the top rappers in rap right oh, now? Oh, they all lyrical niggas. Oh, 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 all the niggas over 40. I'm saying. They all the most lyrical niggas. Mm -hmm. Roy, Mickey, yourself, Ransom, in, Conway, Benny. In any era, hasn't lyrics always prevailed and reigned dominant? No matter what, when you look at when you look at rap. My man A made a point right there. I thought the the mumble rap. And I want to piggyback on my man A said in the bottom here. I thought the mumble rap shit did start with the Migos, but they 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 they, they, they niggas didn't give a fuck about that. That's why they started saying the mumble rap. Mumble rap to me, the conversation started. When Migos drop and niggas try to shit on the Migos. Niggas think Migos we try to. is mumble rap? Yo, they, Hell no. They try, they try to put Migos Yo, in mumble rap. Yes, it is. A lot of y'all niggas' favorite rappers don't want no smoke with Takeoff. No, bro. no. We, we, all right, we take off. I'm saying when Migos first came out, I just thought the mumble rap conversation, they tried to quit that with Migos. No, they it, didn't that, work. it didn't work. No, they it didn't work. It didn't work. I put that with like Future and like Migos because it was like too. they was they were saying. Yo, first of all, Future is crazy. Mm, I like Future. I like, I like some Future songs. I like Future. Man, bro. At 12 like o'clock at night. At 12 o'clock at night. Future all day. Give me some Future. I'm cool with that. Is there any, night, let me ask morning, you a question. Yeah. Is there any song crazier than March Madness? A lot of songs. You can't just put March No, boy. I'm saying the feel. Oh, it, it, I'm saying like, it's bro, a feel. It's have a you, feel. Ever, you ever been in a club number? Oh, oh, like oh, oh, of course. So what I'm saying is, oh, bro, future, come music is not I'm in Miami, my nigga. You know yo, how I give it up. Listen, <laughs> music is not just lyrics. This is what I'm right. saying. If music was just lyrics, we would never have no gripe with Eminem. Mm -hmm. We wouldn't have never, we wouldn't have, we wouldn't have lost a lot of them motherfuckers. Twister, whoever we thug thought. Two, oh, two, young Thug too. the mama rap started with Young Thug, me, I thought those conversations. But that's what I'm saying though. Music right. was never just lyrics. Right, right. Music right, 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 is an right, right. artistic expression. Mm -hmm. No matter how you get that shit off, that's what music is. And the best music is the music you can feel. Absolutely. Agree. So total, total agreement. So so in that case, it's like we can't just hold niggas to a standard of, of if it's not lyrical, I'm not accepting it. You know I know what's crazy, bro? I'm gonna tell you how hypocritical niggas is. All right. When I went to battle rap, guess what they told me I couldn't do? Guess what they told me I better not do? What they, Talk to me. What they, I want to hear this. They said, nigga, if you come over here with that lyrical right, miracle, right, yeah. spiritual, yeah, 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 yeah. if you come over here, they said, nigga, we're going to cook you if you think you about to come over here with that lyrical miracle bullshit. Mm -hmm. So I get the all the way to battle rap. The nigga's telling me now I can't use my lyrical miracle. Come on, come on bro. Like, right, let's right. just be real. Everybody got their own shit. And if you ain't on what they on, they like, you ain't. Facts, facts, you, facts, you facts, ain't, facts, you ain't facts, that, facts, bro. facts, facts, facts. Agree, agree. We're in agreement. You know, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, so bro, I went brother. out there in my first round of my first battle against Head Ice, and I just lyrical miracle my first round. And then my second two rounds, I made sure I simulated to battle round. I made sure I, I was like, I ain't going to play. Yeah, 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 but yeah. I did that on purpose, my first round. So everybody say, I lost the first, and I got the second and third. Everybody mm. say that. But I'm like, mm. did you really go break down my first round? I was rapping so crazy that a hip hop rapper would be like, that's my favorite mm. round. 
but a battle rapper would like my second two rounds because it was a battle rap cadence and format which i understand i'm in somebody else's house listen i always say it is all due respect to your contemporary shout out cannabis joe budden sticky fingers saigon a multitude of these niggas cassidy a lot of y'all niggas came in los was the only one respectfully in my opinion that came to battle rap and got busy i'm not just saying this because he's my guy because we have we can disagree a lot but it's the truth i thought you came here and actually got busy and one thing you had over a lot of them other niggas is the battle rap flow that you have to have in, in this coach this kind of the battle rap right you have that down i mean jack jack too i'm gonna get a jack, yeah, jack too i love jack jack, jack. jack get busy too and shit though make sure i get back mickey too mickey too but jack I said too. i was gonna die on stage though against daylight he broke my heart yeah. when he said that yeah yeah i asked jack one day if y'all push a battle though but he said nah I told Jag we got to stick together. I said, yo, Jag, what yeah, you, you doing? I said, Jag. Yeah, you're the one that has to I, stick together. Why you all should battle? No, because niggas got to form alliances. Battle rap, my nigga. We no, no, no. That. They do it in everything in life. Stop. <laughs> we got to do alliance if, talk, man. Go on. If, you, if you watch the WWF, WWE, yeah. everybody got to form alliances, right? Because I'm, I'm like this. Look, if the niggas, let's say me, B Dot, Lux, um, I miss that nigga, man. Whoever, whoever on the conscious, you know, healthy, God body shit. Right, let's right, say right, we, right. we vote trying up and we like, yeah, fuck all y'all niggas, whoever they're talking about, all that, whatever. Oh, that's going to make, make it great. That's going to make it so much more intense because now it's like a clash of, of the ideologies. That always makes it best. When you got two conscious niggas sitting up there rapping against each other, it's like, all right. So now y'all asking for lyrical miracles. Keep it real. Yeah. So y'all want absolutely. lyrical absolutely. miracle. When you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. a lot of people ain't like the me and they like shit because they was like, like it wasn't blood sport. But all the intellectual niggas was like, yo, I've never been that stimulated by a battle rap in my life. Like you know what I'm saying? Do you put that so battle like, over the other battles you had over like um they other um DNA? I think DNA it might have been my best showing. I agree. I agree with you on that. I, I'm um, as a fan. I'm with you on that. As a like as a battle rap, like a simulating to y'all culture. Mm -hmm. I think DNA was like my best showing. Um, I think um, I think that the the, uh, the, uh, the I had some really well, big moments. I had some really big moments in a daylight battle. Like I walk right through you. All that shit. I had mm -hmm. some moments, bro. What about the Illwill battle? Cause here's the thing about the Illwill battle. People try to chastise you for your first round because you had a big long scheme about the. I thought that was fire. The sense of the nigga wrapped the whole line and stood on course for a whole round, bro. Yeah. And stayed on point on yeah. course. I thought that yeah. was. I right. niggas, thought, niggas thought I was bugging, but whatever. So, so that's my formula three. One of my formulas is that you notice I always will risk my first round to try to do something I'll, out of out of box. Right, they they, right, they right, said right, they right. said I lost my first round against pretty much everybody. Not against head ice. They said I lost my first round against head ice. I disagree. But that's what the consensus okay. was, right? And they said I got a second and third, right? But um, I'll always take my first round, and I'll try to do something that I feel like is more innovative mm -hmm. and more risky. Okay. But then I'll make sure I secure my second and third, like, in a more battle rap way, right? And that's just being strategic, because I know I don't get as much room to play yeah you don't you don't you don't <laughs> right y'all right. don't y'all don't cast me you none of y'all yeah know, the, the minute we is is too dry or we ain't it's like oh no nah, this nigga get this nigga out of here yo get this nigga yeah, out, out of here who's this nigga <laughs> yo who's son yo yeah, son whose son is this man who man is this right yeah. <laughs> so so i know i wouldn't i wouldn't you know what i mean but um i always try something risky with my first round so um I got really creative. My first round, I actually need to go and break down for people. That first round, I had people hit me up saying, yo, this is one of the craziest first rounds in battle. Against Light? No, no. Against, uh, against, um, against bro. Against, um, against Yeah, Will. because that whole scheme was crazy to me. I thought it was crazy, but, you know, other niggas were like, that shit is too drawn out. Da, 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 da. They thought it was too long. I was oh. like, damn, he's still on course, oh, though. Crazy. Huh? You know what I mean? 
Andrea, what's up, sis? What's goody? We got the first against Will. Yeah, I'm not Will one. Yeah, I got Will one. We won the battle, but it's still a good battle, though. It's not a bad battle, it's still a good battle. And Lil still get busy again. He still got busy, I thought, more than, more than Cassidy and the rest of them niggas that came to battle rap by far. By far. You know what I mean? So I don't know, man. Who's got the third? I think that's when Will did the um what what did Will do in the third round? The bucket thing, right? He did the bucket thing in the third round. I didn't like too much the bucket thing he did in the third I, round. I ain't like that too much. I had the illest rebuttal for that shit, bro. And I and I and I and I, and I um I kinda let the room dictate. I kinda I kind of let the room dictate. I, I didn't. I didn't control the room. I didn't control the room good in that mm -hmm. battle. And um, cause it it was the um. I, I will admit, it was the most. It was the most biased I had faced. Um, in all of my, in all of my. Uh, battle endeavors. <laughs> yeah, in all, in all in all of my battle rap endeavors. Right. <clears throat> it was the most. Like, like immediate bias because um ill will comes with for um you know he comes with so much that he can do that it's almost like you know like when people go see their favorite nba player you know they don't give a fuck about who's on that other team they like i came to see this nigga dunk on you cross you up and when you do some shit you think i'm gonna cheer for you like mm -hmm. if you cross the nigga up i came to see at the nba game mm -hmm. right you think I'm about to go, oh, that was crazy? So Especially at his crib at his house. And his that house. It was home. Blue was room, blue room, blue, blue room, room Illy, right? So, hey, man, blue so, room. so it was it was like when I was I'm really an organic person. I'm really organic. And I'm really the type of nigga who like feed off energy and like mm -hmm. them niggas wasn't giving me no energy. And I'm just like, yo, y'all niggas being so biased. That um, I I see y'all purposely just like giving me the stiff face, like not responding, not reacting. I go up for that rap. type of shit. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, all right. So I think it gave me some texture. Cause if I'm yeah. ever in that situation again, I'm going to control the room. You know what I'm saying? Like say maybe like a Charlie Clips or somebody I think is really genius at like reacting to people. Oh, oh y'all want to give me the stiff face? Well, I'm gonna come with the big eight, the big six. You know what I'm saying? Like, I gotta start getting to my bag like that. Cause I've never really displayed really my freestyle abilities in my battle raps. Cause I'm still kind of like walking and learning my levels. But um, yeah, I'm gonna uh, I'm, I'm start doing that shit more and being more of a showman. You know what I'm saying? And um, I, so I learned a lot. I learned a lot from that battle, honestly, on some real shit. Are, are you gonna battle again? Yeah, they, but I, I, I ain't gonna lie, like, Niggas don't be wanting to battle me. <laughs> niggas don't be wanting. Niggas don't be wanting to battle me. I think niggas wanna. I think niggas wanna leave it at. If they could, I think they wanna leave it at ill will. Like, oh, uh, we think. We think I think A Ward will battle you. I think A Ward will battle you. I, a Ward, a -Ward, a Ward did wanna. A Ward did wanna battle me. He gonna have to do a lot of cursing. Why? To to to. to to beat me, he gonna have to curse a Why lot. That? He gonna have to, he gonna have to, cause he gonna have to go against his God in order to beat me. He gonna have to, he gonna have to team up with the devil. So A Ward is okay. You think A Ward can't beat you? He too white. What? No, we not doing that, Lowe's. We not doing that. He too white. We not doing that. He too Lose. white. What you mean he's too white? I've been zen on him. <laughs> I'm not letting you do my son A1 like that. A1 no, I'm, nasty. I'm A1 gets busy. A1 gets, gets busy. busy. I fuck with A1. He gets busy. He gets busy. He's busy. But yo, yo, you know what? Like, I ain't gonna lie. A1 is so white, bro. That it, He's so white. He is so white, bro. <laughs> Lo, this pigmentation. What are you talking? He's the white dude. No, no, no. No, he's so white, though. Like, He's just, oh, you mean like normally, he, like hey, dude, white? He's not no, loud. No, 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 that. no. He's just white, like as far as like everything he learned from the culture. It's just like so obvious. Like it's like honestly, bro. Like because I, 
think, I 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 think, it's all the fuck uh, they do, bro. You know, hey, hey, let three. You remember when I came to battle rap and they said you only coming over here because you you um struggling with my rap, hip hop, hip hop, and everything. Right, right, right. I'm, right. I'm Grammy nominated. Grammy, that was that was crazy. when nigga said that. I'm Grammy just... nominated right now. Absolutely, you know what facts. facts. Mm -hmm. Yo, bro, that's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Anybody who battle raps can beat me, bro. I'm not infallible, fucking indestructible on a stage. Right. Anybody could beat me. Yo, listen, but I'm going to tell you if how I could tell you if niggas couldn't beat me, if I had 50 battle raps under my belt. If I, if that was my career path desire. Right, 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 if right, I was right, dedicated, right. because I'm nice enough to be Yeah, crazy. if you're dedicated, that's going to be scary. That's, that's oh, if, I, if I was really dead, and I'm not going to ever say, Spooky. like, I don't dedicate myself to my battles, because I do. But, like, if this is the repetition that I've had, and, like, this what I'm locking in, like, that, okay. and, I, yo, I'm going to be yeah, one so of let's, go, let's go ahead. Let's say, you had, let's say you had four battles for 2024. You're already locked. You're already, you're good, right? In the sense of, You've already learned where you want to go and navigate. I'm still, I'm still, I'm still learning okay. because I haven't, I haven't faced everything. And then I, the the craziest things in battle rap be overcoming the biases, right? So when I when I was um, because I've overcame hip hop bias, like I get it. Yeah, you when, over when, there, when, right, when, right. When, when, um, but these niggas can't, right? Like the battle rappers, they can't overcome the hip hop bias. Hip hop bias be like oh you niggas is battle rappers and they categorize them niggas so i get it so when i go to battle rap overcoming the bias is like me going against like a sharon or like a uh a, a award i already know there's so many biases because for them to get in there and perform at, at our level they're gonna get max accolade they're gonna get max accolade right and i'm and, it didn't, and neither one of them are shabby at, by any like they go mm -hmm. They, mm -hmm. they, they go, right? Mm -hmm. But they're going to get max accolade because they're able to perform in, in that arena and they've proven themselves, but they've done it so much. Right. They understand every nuance. Just like BK, whoever. They understand what they're doing because they've done it so much. I'm never going to act like I have an expertise over no nigga who's dedicated himself to that sport and got in there with treacherous niggas. You know, a War stood, stood across from Rum Nitty. You know, um... So I, I'm not stupid. I'm not foolish. I, I, anybody, any battle rapper can beat me. But one of the things that I always look at is is not always the, the technical ability. Because okay. I don't think my technical ability has won me a battle rap yet. Okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I think when I assimilate to battle rap culture, that's what wins my battle raps. Whenever I do my technical shit, Niggas never get my shit, bro. Like, niggas don't get the whole scheme. Or niggas like, oh, I don't want to hit a Marvel scheme. But it's like, but y'all do Marvel schemes all the time. All the time. All the time. All the time. So, so you see what you see what I'm saying about the uh, about the bias? Niggas gonna say, oh, he did a um a Doctor Strange. Niggas already said Doctor Strange. Yo, 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 bro. You know how many times I heard you niggas say cancer or fucking calendar? Fatigue. Calendar. Yo, or 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 Indian, you know, uh, like bros, stop, right. come on, bro, like y'all right. gonna y'all gonna do me like that, you know what I'm saying? Right. Or oh, ratchet blast, massive bad, gas, like yo, come on, bro. So I get the bias, I get the bias. They're not gonna let me slide. They like, look, nigga, we gonna make it, you know, tough on you. And so I think is that why when you were surfing your back and forth, that's why you got it. A lot in the four nugget um freestyle out of the drinks you did. Well, what I what I did was because remind you, I got the same back and forth right. with DNA. Right, 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 right. I invited DNA to hip hop. And I said, I got ten thousand that you go in the studio tonight. Right. I'll go in the studio tonight. Let's drop the diss tracks tomorrow. I said, I, I said I got ten thousand, I'll run you out of hip hop. I said it on live, so I'm not saying. I, I remember those days. I said I, I got ten thousand. 
I run and, and he said, meet me in the ring. I said, I'll meet you in the ring, but meet me in hip hop. I met him in the ring, got him. And I beat him at the and I beat him at the face off. Three old him at the face off. He didn't he didn't he did not see niggas don't understand how calculated I am. You talk all that shit to me on live. You you follow me on social media to troll me because for battle and I told you uh, initially I'm not gonna battle you. And then you okay, I invite you to hip hop, you don't want no smoke, but you tell me come battle you. Okay, cool. We get to the face off, you forgot all that? You forgot all that. Shout out my so, guy DNA, man. Shout out DNA. I love DNA. My brother. I, I, I love DNA. Two one. But I'm just saying, as a battle rapper, DNA should have been more tactful. Because I I'm the guest, right? And mm -hmm. I told DNA, I said 60%, right? Because I was only 60% in my own mind developed in battle rap. When I battled ill will, I told ARP. Seven, like I'm seventy five percent. I'm not fully charged in the, in this sport, right, bro. Right, right, right. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. And I might be giving myself a cushion because of, of my own lyrical, you know, prowess. Right. But like, when it comes to battle rap, battle rap is changing every fucking day. These Absolutely. new niggas is doing so much new shit. Like going against a new, uh, uh, like a New Jersey twerk or something. Ooh, like you doomed. you're doomed. You're doomed because yeah. New Jersey twerk got all the finishing moves. <clears throat> He's got the crowd is trained to know when his punches are coming, when to anticipate, when to let him cook. <clears throat> I have not created that nuance in battle rap where they know when to just listen and go crazy. So I give all them niggas props for that. A Ward knows all that. He got all that under his back. So could he? Did you watch ARP? How they how they doing the battles now? They doing it in a circle thing? Did you see that with Mickey? Fight? Yeah. Do you like that? You like I don't, that? I don't love. I don't love that. I wouldn't be, damn, I, I'm wrong, Lowe's. I thought you would love that shit, my bad. I, I don't know. I don't love it. I like it. It's dope. I don't I don't, you don't rap because you don't rap and no bullshit. Just you don't rap. No, no. You? I like the fact that I, I don't I don't like the filming uh, in a circle. Okay, okay, I got you. Okay, I got you. I, I got you. love when niggas because my uh, one of my favorite battles, I think the three greatest rounds in battle rap <clears throat> are Daylight versus um Rock. uh Tay Rock. Okay. I don't know where Daylight was at doing Tay Rock, but he went, he went to another galaxy doing doing Tay Rock, and I still love that um, uh, that verse that, that uh, that lost nigga verse from Lux. Lux, yeah, that, yeah, 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 yeah. I can't. That, that's like polarizing. Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, yeah. So I love the just them rapping. Um, oh, oh, rooftop dot crazy. B dot, B, B dot is you and B dot. The, that's the battle that I thought if he was still here. When's the last time you talked to B Dot? I talked to B Dot like some months ago, and that nigga was like, he's not even rapping no more. Like, fuck oh, battle rap. I, I begged him to battle rap. I begged him to rap. He's like, bro, I'm not even rapping no more. Like, that, like, and, and I couldn't convince him because, like, B Dot, the type of nigga, you can't convince you can't. him. You can't. Nothing like Cannot convince that brother. I know this. Yo, my man, trust me. That's my guy. <laughs> Yeah, you can't convince him of you nothing. It's not, if it's not, if it's not in his yep. heart, so you know, I, I, I so I when respect they, him enough to like. If they stand on ten toes, B dot. I think that nigga got eleven toes, B. That nigga got an extra hey, toe. I believe you. Know, you like making jokes, but well, that shit is real. Though, that nigga man. stand on t eleven got toes. A different nigga, man. That's a different dude, yo. Yes. That's my yeah. guy, man. I miss that brother, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I miss, I miss seeing B dot out there because. I think B Dot was on his way to being the, the one of the greatest. Yeah, yeah. I think he, he was on was. his way to being like always solidified. Like you stand in front of B Dot, you in trouble. Yeah, it was getting to that yeah. point. Yeah, man, I hate to the, see yeah. him cut his legs off so early like that, man. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. It's almost like Calvin Johnson when he, when he retired from the um, Lions or Barry Sanders. Right, uh, hey, you go to the Bush. Lowe's, I don't know what's going That's on. That's not hip hop. <laughs> that's crazy. All right, that's the that's a little wild. That's, that's a little. That's, oh a little, that's a little crazy. God, that nigga look like. Bop, bop, bop. You know what I mean? So, yeah, man.